Oh, everybody, Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics, coming at you today with the Warner and Swayze Ram RD. Now, this is a new micro pistol optic, or it could be on any gun, really, from Geisley, and the price point's awesome, the quality's there, so let's check it out. Before we go any further, guys, I'm wearing the Finest Unfiltered podcast shirt, 265 Police Live. Shout out to John and Eric over there, two retired NYPD lieutenants. They make great content, uh, really eye-opening, the stuff that they put out. So give them a follow on YouTube, check out their podcast. They're also on Rumble and a bunch of other platforms, but they spit the truth. So open your ears, check them out. Also, you can go on BigDickBallistics.com, check out my merch, all right, Jobs Dead. Everybody who's a big city cop knows that. Every dollar you spend on there goes right back into the channel. So guys, if you're new here and you don't know me, my name is Big Daddy. I'm a police firearms instructor in the biggest department in the United States. What we have today is Geisley's newest micro pistol optic. It's by Warner and Swayze, their little offshoot company. Now they have a bunch of, uh, you know, off brands uh, coming with the tree. They have ALG, that's Amy Lynn Geisley, uh, Abraham and Moses, Abe and Mo. Their knife line, they have so much stuff. This is my second optic from them. The first one I got from them, I did a review. I threw it on an MP5, and it held up great. Really nice. A uh, couple of people, Brass Facts, said it was pretty much a Swamp Fox Kraken. It was a closed emitter red dot with a 2 MOA dot. Very accurate. Held up. And it's still on my MP5 today. But today, we have this. It's an RMSC cut. So it's for a micro-compact or subcompact. Uh, semi-automatic pistol, but it also comes with a pick mount. Now, I didn't need the pick mount, all right? I don't need to mount it to anything on any kind of pick. Um, it's small, so if you had anything like a Scorpion or um, some other, you know, PDW-style weapon platform, this would be really good for you. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but it's nice. All right, before we get into it, all right, visual and physical inspection, safe, clear, and empty. So this is my 365. It's a macro with an XL slide. I really enjoy the X macro, but I just didn't need another gun. So I chopped up my 365 and put this together. Here you have the Ram RD. It is nice. It's nicer than my Romeo Zero. 7075 T6 aluminum housing. All right, it's an open emitter with a three MOA dot. It's very big, the window, again, compared to the Romeo Zero. So what are you getting? Well, for $125, you're getting a versatile optic. Now, it states in their instructions and you don't need to take the optic off the gun to change the battery, however, there's just no way, like you have to take the optic off. So whatever the case, it's a 2032 battery, guarantees 20,000 hours, about two years on setting six, so it's a little more than halfway. There's 10 settings, two of them are night vision settings. Um, pretty much every red dot, as long as it's dim enough, is night vision capable. But what you're getting here is a solid optic with a nice big window, nice curves on it, it's anodized aluminum, Big, nice buttons compared to the Romeo Zero. Now, I haven't played with the Romeo Zero Elite, but this thing is very nice. So, they'll say every two years you can change it out. I say every January 1st, your birthday, change all your, you know, pistol optics out or any red dot optics that you have just to guarantee that they work. Um, anything could fail. Climate conditions, they could drain batteries. If you leave them on, if something's mechanical or electronic, yeah, it could go wrong. Murphy's Law, right? So we have to be aware of that. So I'll crack this open now. It has Shake Awake, right? So after I did another little video, maybe you could see it, maybe you can't. But let's check out that clip that I put on my uh, YouTube as a short. So you can see it's a nice crisp dot. It doesn't come with instructions as far as inch pounds of torque and whatnot now it came with a bunch of screws a bunch of allen keys it's cool it's very nice but they didn't come with the screws to mount to the 365 so after doing some work on forums some research it's an m3 by 12 screw and you get like 50 of them for seven bucks off amazon prime i kind of threw the dice against the wall because 
I wasn't sure if I should get beveled, you know, like countersunk screws or whatever, but they went in fine, luckily. So I wasn't out $7. Not a big lift, but still, you know, you're spending money, you expect quality. Um, it's got a bevel cut in the rear sight to co-witness with the front sight. Um, now, listen, depending on the platform, I don't know. I don't know if it's set up for a Glock with that bevel in the rear, um, kind of like the Romeo Zero is for other 365s. But again, this thing works. Crisp 3 MOA dot. Um, I've been carrying this thing now for about six, seven weeks, and I have no issues with it. I've been carrying it with my Black Point Tactical OWB. I paid for this. Um, I have probably about a half a dozen Black Point holsters that I've paid for on my own. They've sent me a few to review, but they're great. I'll always spend money with them. A uh, nice American-made company. I get all of my Black Point holsters that I purchased from them in black with Coyote on the back. And this is for a macro, but if it's nice, it's close to the body. Um, usually I carry the IWB um, appendix style, but it's getting a little cooler here in New York, so I want I could wear this, you know, under a hoodie or a light jacket or you know, flannel or windbreaker or whatever. And there's no issues at all. So I zeroed this thing out at 15 yards, brought it back to 25 to confirm that it was on, and it was good to go. Uh, minimal adjustment. I think I had to move like a quarter of an inch to the left, and it was dead on. Um, unsupported, no issues. You could crank up the speed with this thing, and it's just there as long as you're gripping the snot out of this gun. And uh, the way I have it set up, there's a lot of surface area with the X macro grip. Not to be confused with the chode from my good friend Mike Sheehan. Congrats on your retirement, by the way. So, yeah, guys, this thing is good. $125 plus tax and shipping. You're looking at like high 140, close to 150. You can't beat it for the money. Um, I have no issues with it. Again, this may be a copy of somebody else's stuff. It's all Chinesium at the end of the day, unless you're getting an Aimpoint or an EOTech or a Trigicon. And they might even be outsourcing some of their stuff. But still, at the end of the day, a good micro subcompact pistol optic for 125 bucks before tax and shipping. You can't go wrong. Uh, you can check out the clip right here of me shooting it. But again, held up fine, no issues whatsoever. If you leave this on, you know, if you put it down or whatever, after 225 seconds, I don't know why they put it in seconds. It's like saying I have a 75 month old kid. <laughs> um, it'll go off. So that's like three and three quarter minutes, right? This thing is going to go off. All right. It's going to come up on the brightest se uh, setting with the shake awake, and then it'll go back to whatever you were on list. So again, guys, Warner and Swayze. All right. Nice slim profile. Um, I had a question from somebody online. Hey, with the chode, all right, the chop down X macro frame with the uh, regular 365 slide, okay? Um, my friend chopped it off, took a, top, a couple of pieces of pick off the dust cover. He said, would that handle a TLR7? Um, I don't know. Personally, you know, if I'm carrying concealed, I don't want any bulk on the gun, really. I want as little as possible. And you could see, this thing, it's still 1.01 inches wide, just like every other 365. It's great, and I have 17 plus one. So, hey, if you're doing school security and you want to be, you know, covert about your stuff, you don't want to be printing this in an IWB, good to go. This in a really good fin to the body holster, all right? Minimal printing, good to go. I uh, can't stress it enough. When I first did this configuration, every now and then when I would shoot unsupported, I would occasionally get the round with plus P hollow points, nose diving back into the magazine, and I'd have an out of battery uh, malfunction, open slide malfunction rather. Now that I put this on, it's all but eliminated, 100%. So I think this is actually good here, um, you know, as far as like equal mass. Um, going back and forth, you know, 
under that spring pressure from the recoil spring assembly it's good and you combine this thing with a nice nice flat face trigger like I have and it, it's just awesome so guys check it out Warner and Swayze Ram RD you, you can't go wrong with it guys for a buck 25 if you're looking to get into dots listen put in the time put in the work you need to dry fire all right but on top of dry firing you need to do presentations from the holster what you plan on carrying in the street okay whether it be concealed for duty use whatever um, a lot of law enforcement agencies are all over the country they're transitioning to red dots we know how cops are right they get it they shoot with it they're slow to pick up the dot and then they think hey they got the blessing they're good you have to put in the work if you want to utilize these things to their full potential it's speed and accuracy okay anybody can be accurate but to be accurate under speed it's not the first shot it's not the most accurate shot it's the first accurate shot that wins a gunfight okay so doing presentations once a day every other day every three days whatever put in the effort get the mags and the ammo away from the gun pick an object even put a target on the wall and just do a couple of reps all right let it marinate in your brain box overnight in your hard drive and bam you'll be good to go so everybody, thanks for watching. Again, Warner and Swayze Ram RD. Check it out, guysleywoodamatics.com, bigdickballistics.com, finest unfiltered. Remember, educate yourselves, your family, train hard, and vote the right way. Stay safe.